Okay. You should be able to blow. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg Spence, the founder of Mystery to Mastery and the creator of Windworks. Overblowing is something that's really addressed and is the biggest problem with playing. And simply today, with a mirror, a tissue, and a balloon, I'm going to help you to get better results faster and explain why overblowing is so damaging and how to fix it. This is an extremely important video and I want to help you make playing easier for you to get better results if you're having issues with flexibility, endurance, range, you name it, the answers will be here. So please watch. Now for the best results, uh, subscribe below, press the button so you find out when I uh, put a new video up. And most importantly, please subscribe to the free Windworks trial, the Largo Status Stage. All of this, this information and a lot more is explained there and I can guarantee that it's going to help you improve your playing. Now people misunderstand how one easy it is to release air instead of overblowing and two, exactly how much energy needs to be used to create a note on an instrument. Now, most people waste energy by fighting against the instrument, and I'll explain why. Now, imagine if this is a slingshot, it's just a balloon. If it's a slingshot, you pull it back, and what most people want to do is engage the body when they release the balloon, which is reducing the power of it, rather than, as they say in Zen in the Art of Archery, release at the highest tension. Now the same goes with the body. A very quick demonstration using my tissue here will show that if I engage my body as much as I can to get energy to hit the tissue, I'm engaging all of the breath support muscles that I have here. Believe it or not, that is a very inefficient way of playing all over the horn. Granted, sometimes we do, of course, have to use the body, but we use it a lot too much. And I like starting in the Windworks course from a low range note and a low C can be played with zero engagement in the body. And this really confuses a lot of people. But check this out. If I breathe and imagine my lungs are a balloon, once I've filled up, there's the potential energy. The air is already in the balloon and we can all agree that we do not have to squeeze the balloon for the air to come out. It'll happen naturally. Thanks to elasticity, atmospheric pressure. Consider this. Air in the lungs, relax the body, stop the air with the tongue. and release the air with no abdominal kick. Because there's no engagement from the body, there's no holding back of the energy. And you can play a really, really loud low C on trumpet with zero activation. Now I've done this work with woodwind players, uh, saxophone players, etc. And they're amazed at the amount of sound that they can create by not using the body until they have to. My teaching is all about efficiency and not allowing any involuntary muscular activation in the system to activate unless it needs to. And to start off this process, as, as I explain in the Windworks course, starting on trumpet, on a low C, D, E, you do not need to use the body whatsoever, unless of course you start running out of air. There's a lot of information, but it's all explain, explained very clearly there at the course. So one thing that is really misunderstood in the course is the ah oh, ah oh. I'm not going to explain that here today, but let me just say oh is about a pedal G flat below, well, it's a low G flat below B flat on a trombone. It's a low note. So pedal note on the instrument. I'm showing you a video uh, from a student of mine, a wonderful student, Julie, who's actually suffering from focal dystonia. We're making great grounds getting her through it. But I'll use a part of her lesson to demonstrate where people are getting this wrong. Now, if you've 
uh, graduated from WindWorks or you're a current user or you're considering joining up, I'll explain very quickly something. This video is going into the course to further explain what to do and where it's going wrong. Once we've started the AU, we find the airflow. Check this out again. There's no kick from the body. What I want you to be able to do is hit the tissue straight out. I'm explaining this because of my experiences of fighting against the instrument for years and knowing there was an easier way to play. I was told, air, get the air straight out. Now, I was buzzing my lips and the air was going straight down to my feet. And then when I see people playing straight out and having explained to me about air pivots, now, in the ultimate level of wind works, I explain air pivots and whether they're a sensation or actually scientific. Really interesting. But let me just say for now, we need to find our airstream, use the tissue, and then can we place the visualizer over the top? Now keep in mind, there's black between my teeth here. I would say 90% of people that I give lessons to do this. and holding because it feels strange is very difficult. Again, I say to you, that is a pedal tone on the trumpet, about a low G flat on trombone, and but it's a great place to start. We want to get the airflow, the energy through the instrument without impeding the oscillation or the vibration of the lip tissue. There's a lot of power there, and it's simply a movement of the tongue. So what I haven't mentioned in WindWorks, and this video will go into the course, is the use of a mirror. It can be quite uh, challenging psychologically for the belief system to accept that we can play, look at the black between the lips. I want to work on the aperture corner tension. I want to work on the inward horizontal movement of the lips because the biggest problems with playing are overblowing and pinching the middle of the lips down creating uh, tight lips which is very hard to vibrate so we have to blow really hard to get the lip to vibrate in focusing on the aperture corners we are working on the air column and working on energizing the air in the instrument then the lips respond Again, there's a lot of information in this video. Please check out WindWorks. It's a free uh, Largo Status Stage trial there for you to check out. And there are subscribers of all uh, standard of player from beginners to absolute professionals, working touring professionals from all over the planet engaged in WindWorks. So please come and join us. We're energizing the air in the pipe and the lip starts to respond sympathetically. And the best way to start that is finding your airstream. First of all, I'll very quickly say playing is no harder than talking. This creates a lot of anxiety with people. No engagement. And I'm not doing anything. I'm energizing the air in the pipe. It's no harder than talking. There's plenty more videos on this to come and in the course. So, what you need to do is get your mau. Find how much air you use when you talk. Ah, ooh, that much. Engage your aperture corners. Ooh, look at yourself in the mirror. Ooh, whilst you will look at yourself. Ooh, ooh, and go. There's no way I can play a wind instrument like that. Take it from someone who's been down this path of fighting their horn. That you can. You need to change the way that you think and approach playing. You look in the mirror, ooh, then you close your eyes and feel it. Use your hand to feel the passive, meaning no engagement from the body, passive, move, passive movement of air. Find where it's going on a tissue. Then use your visualizer 
And as you'll see in the video with Julie coming up, some things kind of go wrong. And I demonstrate how to fix it. And in all the lessons that I give online all the time, I seem to have the same problem. People not getting that that's what I mean. And using a mirror, using visualizer, and then using mouthpiece and a lead pipe to start and get the sound system flowing. Without further ado, I'm going to cut over into uh, part of the lesson with Julie and demonstrate things that can go wrong and how to fix it. And I would really love to see you at the WindWorks course real soon. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. I've got a lot of information coming. Please join WindWorks. Click the bell. Make sure that you get notified when I put a new video out. Uh, and happy playing. Please leave any comments or questions below. And the link to the WindWorks sign-up page is below as well. Happy playing. See you next time. Nice and close on the forehead. Oh, right. Beautiful. Move it away a little bit. Beautiful. Move it away a bit more. Not bad. Didn't quite see the mouth that time. But don't kick. That'll do. Great. Grab your visualizer in your left hand. Bring it back to your nose, the tissue back nice and close. Visualizer on your chops. Good. Now move it away a little bit. Okay, so now there's a kick from the body and the angle is going down, so it's hitting the bottom part of the tissue. You've got to angle the visualizer up and out. No, no, but it's not consistent. I mean, it's, this is no different than what I experience. I'm still not consistent with this. Sure. <laughs> the same. Yeah, because you the air's headed down. Take the visualizer out of the way. <laughs> There's just something you're not getting about this because that is perfect. Grab your mirror. I know. Greg, I know. Grab, grab your mirror. Because you're not you're not threading the visualizer over the airstream. No, no, so without, yeah, right. That's not going to work. That ain't going to work. It's not what you do. It's not going to work. When you're doing it without the visualizer, you're doing this. So why is that happening? Oh, okay. I've got to see black. If I don't see black, you're not, you're not threading it over. I see what you're saying. Right. You ain't doing that. Okay. So without without the visualizer first, bring it a bit closer. So if you were to put the visualizer directly over what you just did, you will get the same reaction from the tissue. Mm, not bad. Have a look. Oh, you... Now check this out. That's what you're doing. Right. 
Right. So you explain to me why getting that to hit on the tissue is so problematic. If that if that's hitting around your knuckles. Yeah, because the tissue's a bit to the left. So your bottom lip must be retracting backwards because it's hitting the bottom of the tissue. You're not getting milk spout forward. things I've ever seen. I, I've got no more words, Jules. I can't do any more than that. The rest okay. is up to you. I'm just, I know. I just, gosh, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> so freaking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm not going to get any sleep tonight because I'm going to be haunted by <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest thing i've seen in a long time oh it's great and not not even it's amazing i'm not you're not being mean it's just it's, i know uh, you're not i i i just find it so i must be closing up the bottom lip i don't feel the bottom lip retracting whenever you've said that even when i've had the horn i never feel that like that is the one thing i do not feel i feel everything else but i don't feel that well, whatever yeah, just happened then, somehow you need to figure that out. Okay. I, I can't. I, um, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, there's there's no more that I can, all I can do is draw your attention to it. And okay. you have a moment like that and you can tell what you did differently, right? I mean. Yeah, I tried to do the milk spell. That's what I was thinking about. So you got to sit there with that part of your little, you know, part of, because there shouldn't be any confusion about it. And that's, it, it, it's just, it's very, very logical. Yeah, I know. It shouldn't be a big deal. No. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Right. So that's, it's actually an important thing in the overall scheme of things. Yes, I can see that, Greg. Yeah, no, seriously, I I will work to get it consistent. I mean, I just, I haven't been able to figure out what the heck either, so. There's a lot of free information on the internet about brass and wind playing. Some of it's great, some of it's horrendous. I have put together in one place the Windworks course, all of the information that you need to know to overcome issues with your playing, to improve your flexibility, your endurance, increase your range, all of the facets or elements of playing that you need to know about. So please come along, sign up for Windworks, subscribe to the course, and here's another video just to keep you on your way. Thank you, Mother Candle. Thank you, there's still a lot of love as a handle. Okay, so you're trying to blow that house down. You should be able to blow. <laughs> <laughs>